Hello, I'm Dwan Galloway, and today we are in the heart of Brooklyn at the House of Art. We'll be joined by director Richard Beavers, who speaks to us about his experience as an entrepreneur and why it's important to invest in art. House of Art is a contemporary fine art gallery that represents artists of the African diaspora. So the, the goal really was to create an opportunity for artists of color to be able to have a place to be able to exhibit their artwork. So we look for unique, distinctive, and rare art with a focus on investment value. Mm -hmm. You know, Because at the end of the day, it is an investment, but it's two types of investment. One is an investment in culture, which right. is a preservation of our legacy, and then there's a monetary investment. So our responsibility is to establish a market, protect the market, and then to also promote the artist's career. When I, when I was a teenager, my mother would take me to art galleries and museums. And I always remembered when I would go to museums, I would never see a really strong representation mm -hmm. of contemporary African-American art. Like there was no direct connection to the art. I didn't feel that it was a depiction of my livelihood, my experience, and my history. Uh, and then one day my mother took me to a contemporary African-American owned art gallery and it changed my world, my complete mm -hmm. outlook. On, on art and from that moment on I had a love and a passion for art and as I got older I began to collect art mm -hmm. and it just gradually evolved and took on a life of its own to the point where I wanted to share that passion and that love and the uh, understanding of the importance of art with other people. Got it. And how, what type of resources uh, were required to open the doors to um, your first gallery essentially? Well, I, I worked at MTV Networks for 12 years, so, you know, through my 401k and my personal savings. Mm -hmm. And then my partner, uh, we used our own money, you know, that was our startup capital. And then prior to that, we would travel around the country and do exhibitions. Mm -hmm. So the, the money from us doing exhibitions is where the startup capital came from, and a lot of prayers. Uh, you know, there's obviously a lot of, you know, divine intervention has a lot to do with that. And we were blessed enough to have this opportunity present itself to us and be able to have House of Art Gallery. I want you to talk a little bit about the importance of African Americans kind of immersing themselves in art. What are the importance of that and what can they learn from just the exposure to different art, contemporary or otherwise? Well, I'll say, to start off, the importance is that it's a preservation of our legacy. You know, a lot of us have not been taught the, the relevance and the importance of, of visual imagery, which it educates us, it's a, it's a preservation of history, mm -hmm. and it also stores knowledge for generations to come. And a lot of times we'll have first time buyers come into the gallery and they'll see something to the point where it just moves them to tears. Right. You know, because it either reminds them of someone or a time or place, and then they take the work home and they hang it on their walls and they come back and say that they could never have imagined that that work of art would have had that much of an impact on them. Wow. Because you live with it. Mm -hmm. You know, you live with it, you come home to it, you leave it, and a lot of times art inspires you, it motivates you. Absolutely. Uh, so, it's also an educational thing. We have to start to educate our people on the importance of art because I have a quote that says, a community that does not support its cultural institutions is a community that's in disarray. And we have a generation of young people that are walking around here without a sense of identity. Mm -hmm. And they don't have a sense of identity because we don't practice tradition anymore. And those types of things are forever stored or documented in our art. Who are some up-and-coming artists um, in the urban world of art and also people who are already successful at it? Give, give us some names. One of the artists that I would recommend is an artist named Frank Morrison that is represented through House of Art Gallery. And his artwork is very urban and hip-hop influenced. So that type of imagery and, and the stories and the inspiration of his work appeals to that hip-hop generation. Uh, another artist is Justin Boer, who we also represent. Mm -hmm. uh, Justin Boer is currently working on a book called The Legends of Hip Hop, mm -hmm. where he's doing portraits of 60 of the greatest hip hop legends of all time, which is debatable. Mm -hmm. uh, but one thing that's not debatable is that Boer himself is uh, up and coming, not even an up and coming, but he's an established artist that is on, his, on, on pace to be, le to be known as a legendary artist. Now that you've been in business for some time now, I want you to grade yourself as an entrepreneur, uh, how would you mark yourself in the great book? I would say that I would give myself a, a B. A B, why? And the reason why I say a B is because there's always room for growth. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I'm not looking to be a perfectionist. I'm just looking to be the best that I can be. 
Uh, I'm looking to educate people. I'm looking to share my passion and to also inspire. We get a lot of kids that come in here, and if not for this gallery, they may not have had the experience that they have in the introduction to art. You talked about all these great artists that are, that are coming up um, in urban art. Would you mind giving us a peek? Oh, of course. No problem at all. Uh, one of the artists that I was talking to you about earlier, this is his work here, this is Justin Boer. Mm -hmm. And these are some of the images that we just unveiled. We had a one night exhibition here on November 12th. And these are originals from his upcoming book, Legends of Hip Hop. So over here we have Slick Rick, we have Nas, Jay-Z, and Biggie. Now the Biggie images is really important because that image right there is also being released as a limited edition print. It's a limited edition gicle, which is available exclusively through House of Art. But the importance of this is that these are our heroes and these are some of the legends that we came up, you know, admiring and listening to their music. So what Justin Boer does through his work is he pays homage to these individuals and these are the ones that will continue to live on throughout, throughout history. Uh, our current exhibition now is an artist named Anton. And Anton's artwork is very heavily influenced by African culture. Uh -huh. You know, you see a lot of shapes, you see geometric shapes, you see cubism, you know. And so we, we, we like to um, re refer to it as abstract African art. And a lot of people would compare his art to Picasso, but when people say that, I say, I'm very quick to let them know that Picasso co-opted his style from African ancestry. Because we in Africa, our ancestors were the first ones to actually create using abstractism and shapes. How do you define the success of this gallery in terms of maybe the impact it has on the community, the sales, uh, the attendance of, of a show, or is it an amalgamation of all that? I would say, I'd say it's a combination of all those things. Um, I don't think you'll meet too many people that get into the business of owning an art gallery and expect to get rich, monetary, monetarily rich. It's more of a passion and a love. Got it. You know, because you have to really love what you do. To see the end result is one thing, but everything that transpires that goes into pulling an exhibition together, working with artists, we're talking about creative people here. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a lot. You know, it, it's overwhelming, so you have to love what you do.